Twas the night before Christmas, he lived all alone, in one bedroom house made of plaster and stone. To come down the chimney with presents to give, and see just who in this dwelling did live. As they looked around, a strange sight to see. No tinsel, no presents, not even a tree. No stocking on the mantle, just boots filled with sand. On the wall hung pictures, far distant lands. Medals, and badges, awards of every kind. A sobering thought came alive in my mind. This house was different, it was dark, it was dreary. I found the home of a soldier. I could see that most clearly. The soldier lay sleeping silent and alone, curled up on the floor in his one bedroom home. His face was so gentle, the room in such disorder. Not at all how I pictured a United States soldier. Was this the hero of whom I just read? curled up on a poncho, a floor for a bed. Then I realized the other families that I saw this night, all their lives the soldiers who are willing to fight. In the morning around the world, the children would play. Grown-ups would celebrate a bright Christmas day. But they all enjoy freedom each month through the year because of soldiers like the one couldn't help but wonder how many lay alone on a cold Christmas Eve in lands far from home. The very thought brought a tear to my eye, and I dropped to my knees and I started to cry. The soldier awakened. I heard his rough voice. Santa, don't cry. This life is my choice. I fight for freedom, I don't ask for more. My life is my God, my country, my core. The soldier rolled over and drifted to sleep. I couldn't control it, and I continued to weep. I kept watch for hours, so silent and still, as both of us shivered from the cold night's chill. I didn't want to leave him on that cold, dark night. This guardian of honor, so willing to fight. Then the soldier rolled over with a voice soft and pure. He whispered, Carry on, Santa. It's Christmas Day. All secure. One look at my watch, and I knew he was right. Merry Christmas, my friends. May God bless you this night.